Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Tune in this week on Living Hope with your hosts, Donna Bryan and John Tilton. It's going to be amazing with Pakele Mele. Lisa Pakele, we got Dylan Pakele and Kamale Pakele. So let's activate and let's go ahead and squash the devil. Squash, squash the devil. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. That's right. We're going to find out the good news in tough times. So make sure you tune in. Oh, it's going to be special. Holy Spirit, activate. Aloha, Ohana. How's it, everybody? Welcome to Living Hope. Today, we're so grateful for guests who are also Ohana. Pakele Mele is a well-known local band and family started by dad Kaulana Pakele, the lead singer of Mana'o Company and famous for the song A-L-O-H-A, A Little Aloha in Our Day. Kaulana and his wife Lisa had a vision to play music with their keiki and did so with the youngest two, Dylan and Kamale. It all came to a screeching halt at the sudden and tragic passing of Kaulana. On Memorial Day 2020, Kaulana died in surf off of Makaha Beach. Hawaii lost a beloved son. The world lost a beloved singer. And the Pakele Ohana lost their patriarch and papa. But God, today, almost two years later, Lisa Pakele is here for her first interview since the tragic passing. Yes, her loss happened right as COVID and a global crisis hit in 2020. And just like many of us lost our loved ones, so did she. Today, Lisa and her cake are here to share a message of hope amidst grief. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for our first ever heart to heart since the passing of Kaulana Pakele. I am so proud of Lisa and the keiki. Let's do a quick check-in of this month's Good News Hawaii. Heads up Hawaii, here comes your good vibes and good measure of Good News Hawaii. Today, it's three fast stories. Get ready for three scoops of aloha. First up, those famous three little words, Chick-fil-A. Wait, what? That's not the three words that I thought you were gonna say, but somehow <laughs> I, I like them much better. Yay, Chick-fil-A all day, Hawaii ne. They are finally coming to Hawaii this year in not one, not two, but four locations all across the Aloha State. Wait, are you being sponsored? Because if you are, I want to jump in on this. Mm -hmm. Flavor fireworks for the new year. Trust us. Onwards and upwards. Our second Good News Hawaii story is about a new heart for the new year. Pastor Guy Capelliella of God Squad Church is a huge Hawaiian with a hama heart. Just one problem. His physical heart had been failing for a year plus. In fact, he was down to an unbelievable 10% of heart function for some time. Seemingly impossible, right? But God, while the world was fighting COVID, PG was fighting for every beat of his heart. And that's when his hui, or the chi hu crew, chi hu, stepped up. Tohai, or Transform Our World Hawaii, led by Pastor Cal Chinen and about 50 pastors, plus people from far more churches worldwide, started praying for Pastor Guy while he waited for a heart. Then, the miracle happened. On Saturday, October 28th, PG got a new heart. By the next day, he was walking. A week later, he got kicked out of the hospital and sent home. Boom, Jesus! After his miracle, Pastor Guy shared a word. He said, God's not done with us yet. In fact, he is so much more for us. And Hawaii, the same is true for you. God is not done with you and the best is yet to come in 2022. Wow. Our last story is the gift that keeps on giving. It's Christmas. Last December, Hawaii's Ohana took part in Operation Christmas Child, a life-changing campaign that packs Christmas gifts for children around the world using a humble little shoebox. And guess how many boxes we packed this year? How many did we pack? 42,000 boxes! Wow! Yay, Hawaii Ne! You packed 42,000! That's a Jesus jackpot! 777 cha ching cha ching cha ching! Wow, that is amazing. And Hawaii, your boxes went to children in underprivileged places, including South America, the Pacific Islands, and even an area labeled hard to reach, which means that it's actually closed to the gospel. 
We're shining God's light in impossibly dark places around the world, one little shoebox and one little keiki at a time. And to think Hawaii started with 15 boxes in 1999, now over 200 churches are involved and 42,000 children and their ohana felt the aloha. Mahalo Hawaii. Now that's a wrap on our Good News Hawaii. Aloha! As we begin, I wanted to first set the stage for what you're about to see, a very intimate heart-to-heart -heart talk story time between two sisters, myself and Lisa Hui Hui Pakele. And so we forgot the cameras as her heart broke wide open in a raw, real way. Forgive us for not facing you, but in the same breath, we welcome you to join us and hear the goodness of God beyond heartbreak. E komo mai ai, come and enjoy. Aloha and welcome back. It is my great pleasure to have a very dear sister of mine. It's Lisa Pakele, the widow of Kaulana Pakele, in a very first interview since Kaulana has passed. She's a dear Bible study sister of mine and an all around cheerleader who hates to be in front of the camera. And so today is a very special treat and a miracle. Welcome, sis Lise. I love you, sis. Love you. Thank you for your trust in me for doing this for us. You know, one of the questions you're still getting a lot of, and it's almost been two years already since the passing of Kaulana to glory, he graduated up, is what exactly happened? Can you share with us what happened to Kaulana that day? Well, thank you for having me, Dawn. Absolutely. Love you so much. Um, it, was, it was on Memorial Day on May 25th, 2020, and it was a beautiful day. It was just a beautiful day. We had off, and so we just, um, we woke up that morning, and we actually, early in the morning, we had a meeting with our builder, and we just were dreaming about how to expand our back patio and just, and just, um, create a space that he's always wanted to, you know, the Kalana. The studio for the West Side Musicians. Yes. It's been your vision for years. Yes, Kalana wanted it so much. And so we, we started our day like that, you know, just dreaming. And um, then we had some breakfast and some of his friends called to go down to the beach. And so we went, it was actually our first time ever at Makaha Beach. Um, and it was a beautiful day. It was sunny, we, lots of food, lots of fellowship. Lots and during of, the pandemic, you finally got out as a family. Yeah, it's much needed. And so he was diving that day and um, playing music and just with a lot of people that he loves and I love. And, you know, we had Kamale. Mm -hmm. And we ended that beautiful day and watched him as he went out to paddleboard and uh, Kamale was with me. Um, and we knew he was just so happy. He just was super happy at peace. Um, we watched him watch, uh, go on his last wave. Kamale and I both seen it. And I was like, your dad is on top of the world. You know, he was just very at peace and just looked so peaceful. And then, and then it just happened. Our whole life was turned upside down. Um, and so, um, Kalana, long story short, um, he had a heart attack and he um, drowned. And so that night was just a, it was just a nightmare for my family. Um, but we were surrounded by 
incredible um, loved ones, mm -hmm. family, friends from everywhere came to be with us. Pastors came. Pa our Korea. pastor, um, Pastor Arden, Pastor Kuna Sepulveda was, were with us in the room with Kaulana oh. and just um, really helped us breathe when we couldn't breathe. And, um, and since then, I feel like it's been like that. People have just surrounded us to mm -hmm. help keep moving forward. Um, you know, Lisa, thank you for sharing that. And yes, it was a question in many of our minds, what exactly happened? You know, through this COVID crisis and this global crisis that we've had for now almost two years, a lot of us have lost loved ones. And how did you, what was your experience? Because it was a suddenly that Kaulana mm -hmm. was taken and that kind of was right at the front end of this. What, how did you get through it and what words would you share with other people? I'm so thankful for God, for the word. I, for praise and worship music, it was literally my lifeline. Mm -hmm. um, I, I couldn't imagine doing it without God and the word. Um, just, I would listen to it. I would, some, we were having classes and one of my really dear friends just would open the computer and just have me watch it mm -hmm. and just get that word inside of me. Mm -hmm. um, constantly playing praise and worship on my phone as I walked around, so it was with me wherever I went. Um, and I feel like that's so important because while the chaos is happening, it's, it's that peace of God, just allowing God's peace to just come in with the praise and worship and with so that good. word. Um, and just and the people that were surrounding us, I just, mm -hmm. I kind of retreated. Absolutely understandable. To my, this, I really retreated. And you did retreat, but and as a sister who walked through that valley of the shadow of death with you, it was necessary, first and foremost, I want to affirm you for that. Mm -hmm. But second of all, is you also selected certain people to be around you. And I think that was an important thing. Can you share a little bit about that? Because there are many people who are going through the valley of the shadow of death. How do they um, know when to shield and mm -hmm. when to come out and shine? Mm -hmm. Very thankful for you. Thank you for never letting go of me. <laughs> um, it was very, it was a time where I, completely retreated from social media, mm -hmm. from um, any kind of negativity. I just had to really, for me, I, I had to really protect my peace. Absolutely. And um, that really helped me to connect with um, sisters in Christ that that helped like, like literally breathe life into mm -hmm. me um, and just encouraged me, spoke the word over me. Yes. Um, we've prayed, we've come over uh, and eaten your food in your house. I've looked for my pot holders at your house. Oh wait, that's totally off topic. But I, it, you know, we have a warrior bride tribe is what we call our Bible study. And people like Lanu Ola, Deborah Tilton, we have Kat Thurston, we have Leolani Dilima. And each of these women God brought into your life, I believe weaving different areas like the business area. Kat had gone through a suddenly with Char mm -hmm. Charlie Thurston. And there were different areas we could each come alongside and hold you. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's a lot like in the Bible when the paralytic was brought down, he couldn't do anything for himself. Mm -hmm. But Jesus looked at his friends and he said, because of your faith, this man will be healed. Absolutely. And Lise, you walked and you said it so well. You protected your peace. You were able to reach out to your keiki and to your mo'opuna because it is a suddenly. And for you, it was on a, on a statewide and a national mm -hmm. scale. We all know who Kaulana of Mana'o Company is. We all love him. And how do you walk through that then? How do you advise your keiki and your mo'opuna? Because we know there's so many people now watching you saying, how did Lisa walk through that? How did you help your keiki and mo'opuna? It was um, absolutely the word of God, but we all stood on Kalana's favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, um, that reminds us to trust in the Lord God with all your heart and lean not on your understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will guide your path. And it was really that like trusting like at him, at his very word, because there's so much uncertainty. Like how do you, how am I gonna pay for things as a single parent? And 
what happens and just all of these things. You had to find all the passwords for his all laptop, pass- his cell phone, <laughs> everything. Remember that whole mm-hmm. craziness? And it was trying to breathe, trying to keep your sanity mm-hmm. and your mental health, but also trying to minister to so many people came to the house. I was there that next day. Mm-hmm. I felt like the Lord had sent me to be there. And there were literally over a hundred people. And we came upstairs in that moment and, and the Lord God said, you're just gonna pray for this girl. And you were sitting with Auntie Langi, which is Kaulana's mom. Uh, we were sitting with the kids. Kainoa was there, Chantil. And w- the Spirit of God came strong as we began to mm. pray. Remember that? Yes. And that's when you were able to stand up. The strength of God filled you at that mm-hmm. moment. And you said, okay, now we can go downstairs and we're going to pray again. And you held my hand, you held Auntie Langi's hand, and we walked downstairs. But you know, so many times, Lisa, you're not gonna be able to say this for yourself, so I'm gonna say it to you, that you don't see the strength that you had as you walked through the valley of the shadow of death. You feared no evil, for you knew that your God was with you. And I remember there was a Thanksgiving that we had after that. That was every holiday is a bit of a challenge, Kalana's birthday a challenge. But as we held hands with the keiki, and there was Dylan, I still call him a kid, and here he is, 20. <laughs> <laughs> something wonderful a human being man and kamalele and uh they held we held hands but the kids even say mom you're so strong mm-hmm. and you had that strength because you leaned t- into the strength of the lord mm-hmm. so thank you for that scripture we're gonna put a pause right here because we have a few messages mm-hmm. but we want to say to you that is watching ohana stay with us we have a few more minutes with the wonderful lisa pakele thank you again for your courage to share from the depths of your heart And we know so many people are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And remember the word through, because God will see you through to the very end. We're going to come back with just a little bit more. And of course, the kids are going to play a song. I said kids again, but he's a grown man, Dylan Pakele, and his sister Kamale, the Molokai Slide. So stay tuned for a little more A-L-O-H-A with Pakele Mele. Do you remember what it was like being a child? When the playground instantaneously transformed into a rocket ship. When that cardboard box became your own Cadillac. Back then, anything seemed to be possible and nothing could stop you. What about now? When was the last time you decided to dream? Have you stopped dreaming? Don't be afraid to think outside of the box and dream big. Don't let reality suppress your creativity. (laughs) Let your cubicle become your command center. Let the world become your personal life-size playground. May you have the creativity to dream wild dreams and the courage to take one step closer to it. And when you release your dreams, you'll remember that even today, hope is alive. Discover hope this weekend at New Hope Oahu. For more information, visit enewhope.org. Welcome back, Ohana. It's a very special time to talk story. First ever interview with Lisa Pakele since the passing of Kaulana almost two years ago. So unbelievable. But let's talk about what's coming up next for Pakele Mele. Well, the first year, Don, since walking out this whole through the valley, it's been, um, God has been amazing and continues to show himself faithful. And um, we've, you know, we've been able to honor Kalana with two celebrations of life. Massive. God did did that, um, you know, and we were able right to- Right in the middle of a lockdown pandemic. And one of them was during the middle of a hurricane Her- watch in Hilo. They shut down all the beaches, but there was us, middle of Kilka, all the Kilka boys, <laughs> right? repping for Kaulana, and that was a miracle you walked through too in faith. And God made that happen. Um, we were able to release um, Dylan's first Gee! single. Ooh, I'm so proud of my godson. He just found out he's my godson. <laughs> but the amazing thing about that, Don, is that Kaulana and Dylan were in the studio recording. That's and, right. And so it was never finished. Um, and we, I didn't think we could do it. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to. You to had be never honest. done an album before or much less a song. <laughs> and Dylan um, just really, you know, I'm so proud of him. He just really persevered and persisted as a man of faith. And yeah. especially after the loss of his father mm-hmm. to then become kind of, and I know Kaino is there too, but you know, our guy Dylan lives in the house to stand up and become that growing man of faith. 
-hmm. It was amazing to watch him, and that album represents so much more than just music. It represents the living legacy that is Pakelemele. Absolutely, and so God helped us make that happen. Um, he, Dylan released his first video, music video, um, and so that's all glory to God. Our Kamale was a senior this past yes. year, so she graduated. Um, Epic graduation party again in the middle of lockdown. We had the Bradas, we had, well, I call her Jane Nakasone, but it is Kumuhula Napua Greg. We also had Kapena right there in the middle of Kapolei Hawaiian homesteads. At one point I looked up and there were night marchers with torches, fire coming down. I was like, sweet Jesus, come down, we're ready to kick tail. But no, it was the Samoan mm -hmm. fire knife dancers, right? It was so massive that next year we're going to book Bruno Mars, right? Because it was a halftime show. But yes, you walk through that one as well. What yeah. else is coming up for um, Pakele Mele? So Dylan is uh, currently recording his uh, EP, which will consist of six songs. Um, and the EP is entitled Faith. Wow. Um, and so he, I want him to tell his story, so I don't want to tell too much. But just know all glory to God for uh, helping us. We've had some key people, Danny Kennedy from the Monao Company. Huge thanks huge, to Danny who huge. walks through the Valley of the Shadow of mm -hmm. Death with you and Siobhan. And his wife, beautiful wife Siobhan, have really um, been there by our side to guide us and this whole road navigate, you mm -hmm. know, through it. Um, and so he's working on that, which is going to be the power of God and the powerful testimony that Dylan has, um, allowing faith to guide him to overcome. Wow. Um, Hence the word faith. Yes. Yes. And then another video, right? Another He's video, shot yes. a second video. <laughs> and talk to us about the back backyard. Um, the so studio. crazy part when I told you the day that Kalana went on to have uh, glory, um, he we finished our back patio. Um, and that Aww. took a year, over a year, actually. And you did that completion. kind of at the ending of 2021, right? It finally finished, Lise. Yes, we, they, they built it on his four-month uh, heavenly anniversary, and, um, and we finished it on the day of Dylan's birthday and the day of the video shoot. Just God, this is timing. I am everything. covered literally in God bumps. And I never say chicken skin because we are not created in the image of a chicken. Thank you so much. These are God bumps when the spirit of God walks in. November 2nd, Dylan's birthday, you do the video shoot and you finish the back studio. And tell us again, what is the vision of that studio from Kaulana and your heart? Mm -hmm. So the back patio is a, an amazing space for artists to come together and just play music, Kani Kapila, gather. That was Kaulana's favorite, favorite thing to do. Um, and so we are in the process of navigating and putting together KP Studios in honor of Kaulana, um, but really a space to give back. Um, and so we're still navigating this space, but we have that. And then our Kamale uh, started her line of business, which is Kaulana and Co. Um, and so we're just, we're just really navigating. I already have the first candle. <laughs> we're just navigating this space and really allowing God. We have a plan, we're planning, but being flexible for God mm -hmm. to lead us and guide us and what he wants to do. And it all goes back again to that Proverbs 3, 5, mm -hmm. and 6. Lean not on your own understanding, but in every single thing, trust God. And that's what you've done. You, your keiki, and your mo'opuna mm -hmm. is every breath you take, every single step you've taken, you've always looked and leaned upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. We've had such a special time with Lise today. Sis Lise, I'm so proud of you. Thank you did you. it. I, and we say defeat the devil by the blood of the lamb, yes. by the power of our testimony. And because we are not so afraid to die, Sis, yeah. you stepped into the gauntlet, into the gap today. Mm -hmm. You overcame your natural shyness. She likes to be the cheerleader behind <laughs> Pakele Mele and behind Kaulana. And now you've been upfront about defeating the devil with the glory of God. Mm -hmm. As you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, or maybe you're walking through a hard day, a hard time, know that it all comes down to trust God. Okay. Thank you for joining us. And we're going to leave you with something sweet, a little bit of the Pakele Mele legacy. It's the living legacy of Kaulana and Lisa Pakele in their keiki. Here they come with a Molokai slide. Cheese! <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> Hello everyone. We'd just like to say a big mahalo out to Pastor John and Auntie Lanu Tilton here at New Hope. Um, and we just want to sing a little melee out for each and every one of you guys. This was for you, Daddy. I like the sand spreading out to the sea I like the tropical moon And the lazy palm trees I like to listen to my heart There's no place I'd rather be I like 
the people I like the way they smile I like the feeling of you On this paradise I like the cool island gecko Man, this is where I wanna be So take me back Take me back Back to the garden, take me back. Take me back. Back to the garden, all over for bed of Molokai. I will return. So take me back. Take me back. Back to the garden, take me back. Take me back. Back to the garden, all over for bed of Molokai. I will return. I like the gecko singing in the night. I like to do the dance they do to the Moloka is like when the sun comes up shining. Always more better to cry. I like to hula, kick it really good. Woman, I don't understand the words, but in time I think I could if I just had the time. Oh, if I just had the time. I say, won't you come along? We'll have a luau by the sea. We'll cook a little pig and all the coconuts are free. What you see is what you get. It's just a little guy shack. I know you're gonna like it. And I hope you come back. Oh, yeah. I like the fishes swimming around in the sea. I like to up on the grill and the cook them up for me. In a big kind of butter. Man, it can't get better than this. No, no, no. I like the chicken. We hop them on the grill. Man, it hurts to eat some round fish and need a pound to spill. Oh, well, oh, yeah. It's just the lua down by the sea. Come on, fam. So take me back. Take me back. Back to the garden. Take me back. Take me back. Back to the garden, all over my bed of Molokai, I will return. They'll be crying, take me back. Back to the garden, take me back. Back to the garden, all over my bed of Molokai, I will return. Forever and ever. We in Hawaii say ue kalani ola kahonua. When the heavens weep, the earth is blessed. Kalana's loss was truly heaven's gain. Yet God can redeem our woes into worship. As ultimately we are blessed even in loss. But God, impossible yet true, God walks us through the valley of the shadow of death so we may overcome even in grief, even in death. Lisa, Herkeki, and Mo'opuna are living proof of exactly that. Mahalo Lisa and our hui hui pakele ohana. I'm so proud of you, sis. Again, mahalo anui loa. Thank you so very much for coming together to celebrate aloha and hope. Our prayer is that no matter what, you will always have a hope in living hope. From all of us to all of you, Aloha! Aloha.